One thing people have been waiting for the iPhone for quite a while is wireless charging. Now you can get these little adapters that plug into the bottom, but they're really slow and they kind of suck. iOS 11 launched a few weeks back to developers, and one thing that wasn't really mentioned at the WWDC, but caught my eye when they brought up a slide of what iOS 11 contains, was wireless charging. Thanks to iOS 11, we don't need the wireless charging adapter anymore. All you need is your iPhone 7 or 7 Plus and a wireless charging plate. And after having it for a few days, I found it quite handy. However, it's not the only way you can charge your iPhone. If you have AirPods, simply hold the button on the back for three seconds, then take your iPhone and place it flat on the AirPod case and allow it to charge up. It is a little slow and not the most ideal. The most handy way I have found is using the new MacBook Pros. Go to the website www.chargeme.uk, follow the instructions on screen, place your iPhone down, on the trackpad and click a microwave turn it on for a few seconds allow it to run and then take your iPhone and place it inside it will begin to charge and add numbers to that percentage there are other kitchen appliances you can use too a toaster take a knife and carefully shove it in then just take your iPhone and touch it against the knife. This way is not recommended. Like a touch screen working through a human touch, the same can be applied for wireless charging. All you have to do is hold the phone flat on your hand and lick the plug. It's fuzzy! Friction is something you can get anywhere. Always generate and keep that battery percent north of zero. The old science experiment of using a potato to power a clock is a bit pointless. But, if you were to use it to charge your iPhone, that is much more helpful. However, the best and most coolest power source is, of course, the lightsaber. <laughs> After all this though, the easiest way is to not overcomplicate it, and just charge your iPhone using magic. 